Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, we're back. Let's get to some boxing. Jose Ramirez says he wants to shut up. Um, Tiafima Lopez also. Oscar De La Hoya is open to fighting Gennady Golovkin sometime, I guess, in the near future next year. But first, let's talk about Mike Tyson and y'all guy, Roy Jones. My guy, Roy Jones. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video. And apparently, they set some type of pre-pay-per-view sales record. So exactly, I don't know what that means. But apparently, they broke it. I'll see the fighters this weekend. They got Wiz Khalifa, the baby. Um, YG, they got a few other people reporting as well, too. Lil Wayne is supposed to be on the card. Also, Nate Robinson, one of them Paul boys. Uh, Bradu Jack is fighting. He's supposed to be giving his money to charity or some shit. But, uh, yeah, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones breaks pre-sale pay-per-view record, according to whoever. I'm going to say Triller. I'm not exactly sure what the pre-pay-per-view sales is. But apparently this fight is super popular. They got some rules. You know, nobody going to win. No hair gear. I think they said, what, 12-ounce gloves and no winners, no knockdowns, no knockouts, whatever like this. If somebody get cut, the fight is automatically over. But apparently they going to sell more pay-per-views. Then, uh, sheesh, Tank Davis, um, Errol Spence, the Charlo twins. So, at the end of the day, Mike Tyson was a phenom. He fought, like, what, 10, 15, 20 times a year at one point. He had a name. He was exciting. He didn't have a big personality. He let his fist do the talking. Then, his personality, be, you know, became big as his ego engulfed him, you know, because he was big shit, you know, knocking people down, knocking people out. You know, he had speed and power. And then the, the thing back then, like it is LeBron or J uh, Jordan, it was Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali. Um, obviously, he never fought George Foreman, but but yeah, you know Mike Tyson is gonna sell. His name is bigger than any fighter in boxing. Anthony Joshua uh, worldwide can't surpass Mike Tyson in name recognition. You know why? Simply because he doesn't you know fight internationally really. You know, and obviously Mike Tyson didn't fought in Japan. He didn't fought everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, Roy Jones. You know he's still kind of name. He just was fighting. He'd been looking impressive. In his videos, and you know, at the end of the day, am I gonna tune in? I think about it, I might pay for it, but it's a phenomenal fight. Fifty dollars on Triller app. Um, I ain't gonna say phenomenal fight. The fight I'm looking forward to is Nate Robinson and that Paul boy, Jake or Logan Paul. I don't know which one, but that Paul boy, like he putting people to sleep. Uh, Ohio runs boxing got this, got it on his on Facebook page, man. Paul look like he getting better, but Nate Robinson is a natural athlete. We see what he can bring uh, to the table. I know at one point he's supposed to be uh, teaming up with Crawford, but I'm not sure that ever happened. But, you know, them breaking a uh, pay-per-view record, pre-sales record, it don't really surprise me at all. Roy Jones never was a popular as far as pay-per-view sales as Mike Tyson, but he could have been. Roy Jones, if he wanted to knock out damn near every opponent he fought in his prime, he really could have. Roy Jones was just, he, you know, he was safety first, but when Montel Griffin, in his opinion, robbed him of a fight, he came out there and damn near killed Montel Griffin. You know? You know, if Roy, if Roy Jones flicked the killer switch on, Roy Jones would probably be right there right with Mike Tyson, probably even greater than Mike Tyson as a fighter. But, you know, you know, only when he pissed off and you take something from him, you get the, the killer RJ. But y'all know how I feel. Roy Jones is my favorite fighter that I grew up watching. He was on the Lance Brothers show. I smoke. I mean, he, I, I can't be stopped. That was my boy. You know, you know, my favorite fighter of all time, Aaron Pryor. But, you know, my favorite fighter during my lifetime watching, Roy Jones Jr. No doubt about it. You know, he, he fought any and everybody for the most part. But, uh, but yeah, apparently Mike Tyson is getting 10 milli, a milli, a milli, and 10 million to fight. Y'all must have forgot Mr. Roy Jones Jr. Um, he getting the 10 milli. That's good for him. Um, am I surprised he getting that much? Nope. Roy Jones is getting $3 million plus pay-per-view back in. I think both of them getting pay-per-view back in. So Mike Tyson can still come back and make more guaranteed money than any fighter in boxing right now. Probably not name a heavyweight. So, in the exhibition, they getting guaranteed $13 million. And if they pre-seals, pay-per-view numbers indicate anything that they, they uh, that people that's going to tune in, they're going to break the internet. They're going to break boxing. Mike Tyson might end up bringing home $30 million. Ray Jones might end up bringing $15, $13 $13 million. So, we'll see, man. But, apparently, it ain't going to be no real fight. And I think a lot of people don't understand that. And the commission has done a good job of putting that out, fishing that out to the public. Only really hardcore boxing fans really know that, but I mean, can't wait. For, I can't wait to see the Robinson fight though, Paul. That's gonna be good. Logan, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, 
But um, yeah, let's move on. Apparently, uh, Tiffy Lopez got some beef. Uh, Jose Ramirez want to shut his mouth. First, he got to get past our boy, our man, my man, Josh Taylor, who's a phenomenal switch hitting fighter. And what better way to get ready for Terrence Crawford than fighting a guy like Josh Taylor? He don't have the length. But he switched hit. You know, he can fight on the inside a little bit. He can bang on the outside a little bit. But, um, I mean, Jose Ramirez never wanted to shut up Regis Progray's mouth. You know, he didn't shut up Victor Postal's mouth. He lost. But I will say, Victor Postal, skill for skill-wise, where he was at at that point, he's he's a more experienced and skilled fighter than Teofimo Lopez. But then again, Teofimo Lopez is not a finished product. Jose Ramirez, it'll be interesting versus him and Teofimo Lopez because Lopez can drop bombs on Baghdad. In my outcast voice. He got he got hand speed. He got power. But one thing he don't got is he freeze when you throw punches. I don't think Jose Ramirez can get him. I will fight with Jose Ramirez. I ain't the biggest Jose Ramirez fan, but uh, Styles make fights. I think Jose Ramirez would stop TFM Lopez. I don't like his chin at 35. His head was flopping back from punches and shit like that. But would I count TFM Lopez out? No. Would I be going for TFM Lopez? Yeah. I didn't think he took the, 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 the fight from Lomachenko. I think he won. I mean, I, I mean, I don't care if Lomachenko got robbed, whatever you think he lost. But, I mean, Ramirez is a guy that's going to be in your kitchen. So, if Lopez power don't translate, and he can't keep Jose off of him, Jose got a limited stamina. He got a solid chin. He ain't the most skillful motherfucker out there. But you know what? If you don't come in your peak condition, Jose Ramirez will run you out the ring. Jose Ramirez will beat you down. One on one on, one on one on from from Bay Bay's kid. I might watch that today, man. But yeah, I would favor Jose Ramirez. People say you hate no on Tia Fimo. I'm just gonna be honest. You know my future voice. I ain't seen much with Tia Fimo Lopez. I'm just being honest. I ain't really think he beat Lomachenko. I'm just being honest. <laughs> but you know I like the kid. You know he talk to talk. He fight the fight. I mean, you know he can fight Tank. Tank don't want to fight him. I mean, he can fight Devin Haney. Obviously Bob don't like Devin Haney because he's inside with him, so he want to get in that fight. So. You know, if Ramirez win, I'm down for it. You know, to be honest. You know, I don't know if many people remember this from uh, Running DMC when they tried to cross over from the, uh, from the 80s to the 90s. You down with the kid? You know, Pete Rock produced that. That's kind of like, <laughs> it didn't really work for them. But I like that song. Pete Rock, you know, Pete Rock is probably one of the greater producers in the 90s. Dope. You know, dope. But, um, but yeah, you know, I'm down, to, I'm down to see it. I'm down to see it. You know, I think Tiffany Lopez going to sleep. If he don't, he gonna man Ramirez. If he don't stop Ramirez, he can stop. He ain't got the skills to outbox Ramirez. You know Ramirez gonna be. He probably take a step back, but he ain't got that foot movement. To, uh, Victor Postal got Victor Postal had that movement going on from the southpaw position. Victor Postal like he wasn't aggressive enough, but Victor Postal had a good movement going. You know you got to respect Victor Postal as a fighter because he's a tremendous fighter and still that what is he 37, 38 years old. He's still out there. Bah, 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 he beat me, beat or Jose Ramirez. You know? But, you know, Ramirez is the name. And plus, Victor Post always with PBC with Al Heyman. But moving on, Oscar De La Hoya said he's down to fight Golovkin when he comes back. I would like to see him fight Jamil Charlo, but yeah, that's a good fight. Golovkin beat down. He old. Obviously, he can take that fight from Golovkin from Canelo. And then Canelo probably be fighting Caleb Plant and perhaps Jamal Charlo next. If plans go the way PBC want to go, depending, he ain't with PBC really doing his own thing. But, yeah, I'll probably take a look and stop old-ass Oscar. Um, Oscar got a jab. You know, at their best, I'll probably say Oscar hit too hard for him. I mean, uh, Golovkin hit too hard for, for Oscar. You know, but Oscar, if he as long as he got his legs and he able to stick and move and, and roll and shit, you know, Oscar is going to be doing well for a while. But, you know, Oscar should take a – I'd rather him see him fight Madonna. But, you know, Golovkin, Golovkin definitely take that fight. That's a big money fight. That's a big money fight like a Canelo fight. If Oscar win, then he can fight Maul, you know, male, I mean. Then he can fight Madonna, you know. But, you know, honestly, you know, Oscar De La Hoya need money. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is, man. You know, he let out him and steal his company. He leveraged his Schaefer help finesse his company. But, you know, him and Golovkin, interesting fight. You know, I think Golovkin stopped him. Uh, Golovkin just don't have nothing left. But, um. But yeah, they prime. I probably still take the and stop. I think he punched a little bit too hard for Oscar. But Oscar would have been in there sticking and moving. You know, I think Golovkin would have caught him with that Bernard Hopkins shot or something like that. But that's my opinion. Uh, tell me if y'all down to see Oscar Delahoy and take on Gennady Golovkin. Um, also, let me know what you think about the Roy Jones purses and about them breaking the pre-sales pay-per-view record. Also, let me know what you think about Jose Ramirez saying he want to shut up. Tiffany Lopez. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to me with a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. 
all my social media links description quick to reach me is Twitter then Facebook then Instagram also got a Facebook group that links in the description want to make a financial donation cash app CJ good 313 that's in the description PayPal link there's a description as well best way to donate is share the video hit the subscribe button bell icon button in addition to that also follow me on sportscaster my links the links in the description credit profiles free and watch all my live streams that I do in the universe other than that check me out on Goodfellas Square CB 2.0 and I decide to do content appreciate the love support we gone